Mr. President, Mr. Director General of the WHO, Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, not to leave anyone behind is our common goal. I stand here today to commit and call upon every member state to take action and achieve universal health coverage. I'm happy and proud that our permanent representative, together with his colleague from Thailand, contributed to the process of global negotiations as facilitators. Since 2013, Georgia has proven that universal health care is attainable even for countries with limited resources. We have declared health as a political priority and through effective mobilization of our resources, 90% of the Georgian population already has access to essential healthcare services. As a main mechanism to eliminate financial barriers, UHC implementation has brought us a 25% decrease in out-of-pocket expenditures and reduce the risks of impoverishment. Yet another great example of universality is the uh, hepatitis C elimination program launched in 2015 by the Georgian government with the support of the US CDC, Jailit Sciences, the WHO, and other partners, creating the first ever precedent of a nationwide eradication of a chronic illness by treatment. Nevertheless, chronic and non-communicable diseases still pose a high burden. Solid efforts are taken by the Georgian government to expand chronic medicine coverage for pension-aged citizens and vulnerable groups. Ladies and gentlemen, for us, the road to successful universal health care goes through strengthening our public health system to make quality health services even more equitable and accessible for the population. And when I say equitable, I think of my fellow citizens who can now enjoy health services at all levels, as these services are not solely the wealthy's privilege any longer. UHC has enabled us to restore people's dignity, to save lives, and to respect one of the fundamental human rights the right to health. But my heart goes to our citizens in the occupied regions who are often prevented to enjoy the full benefits of UHC offered by the Georgian state. Excellencies, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development also calls for a new approach to health, environment, and equity. We need to be more proactive, more innovative, leverage health data and technologies. I firmly believe that ensuring no one is left behind will bring wider economic, social and environmental benefits to all member states. The Georgian government and I personally stay committed to this path as this is a legacy we want to leave behind for the generations to come. Health is a political choice, and we have made this choice. I thank you.